Y'all want the tea? Okay. You gotta keep watching. <laughs> you gotta keep watching. Got him. What's your favorite thing about being a father? Watching you become the man that I always knew you could be. Everything I do in this life is for you, son. What's your least favorite thing about being a father? I have a fear that I won't be there for you when you need me. I never want to let you down, son. Filming the scenes, knowing what was going to happen to Pastor Jackson, it was hard in the back of my head because Shout out to Torio Davis. He is an amazing actor, an amazing person. And over the years, I've built a relationship with him as a father. So it was definitely like hard to read because it was like at least two or three different ways they had it play out. I would film a scene where I'm arguing with him and then it will be a scene where I'm supposed to be happy. So it was kind of like playing with my emotions, but I loved every moment of spending my last days with my dad. Episode six, Boys to Men. We do the round again, and this time we've invited the our young youngins, steppers. Our youngins, just giving them the space to just express themselves and for someone to just listen. And I think the one thing that we've been able to explore and to play with and hopefully present the right way is us being able to bring these kids in. Mm -hmm. We as older black men being able to support them through that yes. and help guide them through those emotions and those feelings and those thoughts, especially with Kari. With Kari. Uh, was played by Ma Ferguson, who, brilliant. brilliant young actor. Of course, you got Michael Epps in mm -hmm. that scene as yep. well. Alex, Shaman, they're all in that scene. Yeah. And to see these young men, these young brothers, breathing so much life, life into them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even from their own personal experiences, I just think it, it, it's something beautiful. I'm glad the youth could join us today. I know when I was young, I could have used an outlet like this. Car, I'm glad you showed up. I think it's a, truly important for the shot to normalize therapy. It's a way for not only our characters, but I think culture to just sort of get some things off their chest and be able to deal with things. We're just now coming to a place where we can admit that that's what we need. I feel yeah. like for the longest, it's been like, Oh, no, 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 you don't need to talk to nobody. That's, that's, that's not, right. you don't need to, or we pray it away, you know? But no, it's important that we, we talk to someone just like everybody else. And I've actually been tapping into therapy myself. Like, whoa, like, I didn't know that. It was fire. Episode six, they all graduated. It was another full circle moment especially for Jake, because, you yes. know, it was a bunch of, like, odds against the boy, especially, like, earlier seasons. Yeah. So to see him really walk across stage, he kind of, like, footworked a little bit. That was cute. Yeah, it's cute. You know, I'll be loving the scenes like that. You know, it, it really be authentic for me, because it really be my first time doing something like that, experiencing something like that. So when I'm acting, I'm not acting for real. I mean, dead serious. It was fun. They let us decorate our caps. Look at the caps, guys. There's little Easter eggs inside yeah. the caps. It's just one of those, like, when are the kids going to graduate? When are they going to graduate? So seeing them graduate is just like, dang. It's amazing to see it be played out. 